Let's go to Costco, babe. Today, I'm gonna be taste testing every single pre-made meal from Costco to let you guys know which ones are the best. And spoiler alert, I'm also taste testing this pre-made meal. Let me just tell you, the food that I brought to this house is enough to feed an entire generation. It is insane how much food you get for the price that you get at Costco for some of these pre-made meals. We're in a recession and we need bang for buck. Let's jump into the snacks. All right, I'm gonna start with Costco's chili. This is bigger, maybe not bigger than my head because most things are. This is a very, very big head, but it's pretty substantial. The lady who was checking me out at Costco was like, this is my sister's favorite chili of all time. I'm like, okay, well, high expectations, high bar. What do you expect from Costco? Costco has like the best reputation in all the land. I feel like other than the fact that maybe they might have some of that fake lab grown meat coming, I don't get into conspiracy theories, but maybe other than that, what is the bad thing that Costco has done, you know? If there is a bad thing, don't tell me because I need to live in ignorance because everything else is ruined thanks to TikTok. All of these meals that I bought, by the way, you do mostly need to heat up for like an hour in the oven. So chili is one of those things that will sneak up on you. You gotta be extra cautious. It's the mom and me, it's the mom haircut talking. <laughs> That is so good. Oh my gosh. I'm going in for more. I'm going in for more. This is gonna be a double bite day. I can just feel it in my bones. Yo. Whatever that recipe is that Costco uses to make this chili must have been historically the first recipe of any chili ever made. It has that good bones to it. It's thick, it's beefy, it's cheesy, it's spicy, but not hot. Gosh, it's like everything I hoped I could be in my own existence. May we all strive to be as good at our life as this chili is <laughs> being a chili. These mashed potatoes look decadent. They look better than like mashed potatoes I've seen at fancy AF restaurants. I'm very passionate about the presentation of this. This is not, if you told me this came from Costco, I would never believe it. It just looks too homemade gourmet premium. So that entire Sasquatch size container cost me $12.15. Just like any decent food taste tester, I'm gonna eat straight out of, of the container because you know what? It's my, my company and my job and I get to put the rules into place. Ooh. I am not cooking for Thanksgiving this year. This is so delicious. Oh my, if you have a potluck or something this year, like a Friendsgiving and you gotta show up with something, go to Costco. This mash, these are so good. I need some wine to wash that. Someone just turned out the lights in heaven. Hello. Don't abandon this now, Lord. I will say the bacon is very heavy. If you're not into bacon, I've kind of been not friends with bacon recently. We've had like a little bit of a falling out. That's another story for another day. But the flavor about, oh, this, these two. What is this wine? It's French. So I can't tell you what it's called. It's this one. Screen grab it. $13 if I'm not mistaken. 10 out of 10 recommend. All right, next up are Costco's beef stuffed bell peppers. And I have to be real with you. I got all of this stuff yesterday and we already ate half of it. I told Matt there was way too much food for us not to eat it for dinner last night. I didn't want it to go to waste. And also these looked so freaking beautiful. This is not a good representation, right? Like this is what I look like first thing in the morning when I wake up out of bed. But let me just tell you, yesterday the presentation was on point to the point where I couldn't say no. Also, how cute are these plates? My neighbor made them by hand. She's incredible. I'll link her down below if you'd like to buy yourself some homemade ceramic dishware. Anywho, speaking of who, I feel like I look like Cindy Lou Who with this hair. I can't tell if I look like a Karen or a, like a cool Gen Z or maybe I'm not na nailing either. All right, let's give it a try. Again, I already had this, but eating that right now feels like it was the first time. It was still so, so good. I can't get over how balanced everything is. It does have beef and rice and seasoning and all that, and then the, the pepper on the outside. I'm a person who doesn't really love peppers as much, but the way this is prepared, the balance is so good. I feel like it's very hearty. I could eat one bell pepper and feel full, like there's a lot of girth to it, which we love. It's not as good as the chili, in my opinion, but they're like, Neck and neck, can't do that too hard because I think I might have broken my wrists or my hands still, so. We're still waiting to find out from the doctor, but I'm over that cast. It's so annoying, so here we are. I'm a rebel, you know what I mean? Drinking wine at 10 a.m. and not taking care of myself. Welcome to the channel, subscribe if you're new. <laughs> Thumbs up this video if you're also a rebel. Next up is this giant tub of mac and cheese. I've already carved out a decent dissection section. Again, this could be used to defend yourself. And it has that, oh, that pungent aroma of fancy mac and cheese. So, ooh, it's very aesthetic. Oh, and they have those big, thick pasta noodle things, which I love. 
Huh, I think that deserves another second bite. You know, it could use some salt and pepper. There's a lot of cheese there. It does taste special and elevated. I don't know if I would say it's the best mac and cheese I've ever had, but it's certainly not a bad, I mean, I'd eat that whole pan if I could. Mac and cheese for me, I just expect so much, right? My brain goes to like magical unicorn land places with what I'm going to experience. And then oftentimes with mac and cheese, I eat it and it just never lives up to the mental hype that I've built up for myself. So I think it's my own psychological issue that I have, but I think it's definitely like an eight or a nine out of 10. Let's get into this chicken Alfredo. She's not reading on camera as delicious. She's got really more of a face for radio. For 18 bucks for like a special dinner or something, I think it's worth it. And I also feel like if you have a chicken Alfredo, they just increase the cost just because it's, it feels fancy, you know? I don't like it. I don't know why. I don't, something's off. This is something that tastes like, like not real, I don't know. There's like a weird aftertaste that tastes, I don't know, the way Barbie smells. That's a, such a strange, such a strange descriptor, but there's like um, a weird, what is it? Have you guys had this before? What is that? All right, they also have kind of grab and go type meals as well. This is like a chicken croissant sandwich with a salad. And again, very generous on the portion sizes. We've got cheese, there's a lot of meat, like a lot. <laughs> Mmm, it is so good. It tastes like a middle school field trip where they give you the pre-prepared meals. I think this is provolone, very good. Pristine, right, everything's crispy, crunchy, fresh. All right, let's go into the Caesar salad. Huh, very, very good. Usually Caesars can go really fishy and anchovy -y. It's very good, it's just a different, it wasn't what I was expecting. Bing! to another kind of grab and go option. If you're not into chicken on croissants, maybe chicken on a sprouted grain bread would be more of your fancy. This bread is nice. It looks like a cracker, but feels like a panini. And we have cheddar on this one versus provolone on the other. I think this is that seizure again with the lemon. Oh, this is hard. I don't know which sandwich I like better. I feel like they're both very, very good and they taste signature in their own way. Let's talk about this other giant soup option. This is a chicken noodle soup. This whole thing costs $13. I'd say very much worth it. There's a lot of chicken in there. When you are sick, everybody's like, go eat some chicken noodle soup. But at that point, you can't like home make chicken noodle soup if you live in an apartment by yourself. All you can do is go buy it from somewhere. And this is much healthier and much probably tastier than canned. Pretty good. I think it could, again, use a little bit more seasoning. Could be a little saltier. The broth is a little thicker, a little bit more creamier. Without dairy, I don't think there's dairy in here, but it has that like thickness to it, which is nice. The smell is weird to me. I don't like the way it smells, but I love the way it tastes. So it's a little confusing, a little Jekyll and Hyde. Let's talk about this taco kit. Let's talk about it. So the kit comes with everything you need for many tacos. I bet you'd like maybe 10 or 12 tacos. The meat is already seasoned, ready to go. All you have to do is throw it in the pan and heat it up. So I went ahead and put some cheese, some lettuce on my taco. And it comes with two sauces. One is like a salsa, and this one is a cilantro lime cream sauce. I don't love cilantro, but this looks so decadent and delicious. It actually smells like a ranch to me, which just makes me more confident to try it, even though I can't stand cilantro. So let's just do a little. Seems like a lot, actually. <laughs> let's try it. I hate cilantro so much. Ugh, it tastes like perfume. Let's try it with the salsa. I think this is gonna be better. All cilantro issues aside, that was a pretty good bite. I have to say, the chicken is very well flavored. I feel like there's so much good. I feel like the seasoning in the chicken is so good. It's a little spicy, a little kick to it. Lots of like smoked flavors, but the sauce is just kind of like poo poo on the party. It's not, they don't elevate the flavors at all. I almost feel like I would like this if it was just dry without sauce. Similar to the Build Your Own Taco, Costco also has a Build Your Own Euro box. And I've heated this up. They tell you in the instructions to kind of heat this up over the stove top. You guys, there's like tzatziki sauce, veggies, cucumber, like everything you could want in a delicious Mediterranean snack. Yum! That is surprisingly delicious. There's a lot of flavor. The tzatziki sauce is really kind of like a seven out of 10, but the freshness of all the toppings and the meat is just so good and the crispiness of that pita is delicious and there's lots of flavor. This is phenomenal. Okay, a little pricier. A little pricier, it's $20, but this is very, very good. Better than the taco kit. I still have more to go, if you can imagine. Perhaps the most famous item on this food list of mine is the Kirkland 
Ben's roasted chicken. When I was at Costco yesterday, I saw women grabbing this roasted chicken like it was a Black Friday free TV deal. I was punched in the face one time during a Black Friday chaotic moment over a toaster. I just happened to be in the way and they got, they like elbowed me in the face. But that was the vibe I was getting from the roasted chickens. I'm like, oh crap, I need to get in here and get out of here as fast as possible. But people were buying these in bulk and the fandom is real. Let's try it. Very good. I am not gonna say that is the best roasted chicken I've ever had. I was kind of expecting that the way people were acting. Like, oh my gosh, this is, I've hit gold. I mean, I couldn't make a chicken breast this good on my own by myself. So I totally understand why you would go and buy it pre-done because it's just so much easier. I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. Maybe my expectations were too high. Maybe the women yesterday threw me off, but I expected something a little bit more mind blowing than that. I think if you put it into something else, I think it would be good. I just don't get the hype. So I just pulled this meatloaf straight out of the oven. So it's hot, piping, and ready for exploration. I have mixed feelings about meatloaf because I always liked meatloaf and I never understood why people didn't like it until I realized that it's mostly just bread and ketchup. That feels kind of gross, doesn't it? But I've always liked it, so maybe I'm just a bread and ketchup kind of cow. But this meatloaf tray comes with its own mashed potatoes offering. My one issue is that I was asked to heat this up in this tray. And this tray is made of some type of plastic material that I'm sure they're gonna tell me is safe for the oven, blah, blah, blah. But that always worries me because I feel like 20 years from now, we're gonna read an article where we find out that like everything we knew was a lie. Let's just give it a shot. Let's try the meatloaf first. Oh, 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 I had to spit that bite out because I got a big glob of ketchup on it. It was so sweet. It was good. It was going in a great direction. And then like a lot of my past relationships just took a whoo, slight crazy turn. I have to tell you that's very good. I just had like a, whoo, a weird bite. So I'm gonna kind of wash it down with the mashed potatoes. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. What I like is there aren't, there's no bacon in here, so it's really more of a pure mashed potato flavor and very good, very balanced, very buttery. We love all of that when it comes to our taters, okay? I think this is delicious. You gotta make sure you get the right kind of meat to loaf to catch up balance to make sure you don't get overwhelmed with sweetness. I would give this a 10 out of 10 if it didn't come in a plastic tray. Now this would not even be a proper taste test without a dessert option. Costco has a labyrinth of delicious pastries, pies, like like literally pies that are bigger than my torso, cakes, tiramisu's mousses, or mousse, mousse. Anyway, they also have a cheesecake, and I went over there and I was like, this could be an entire video by itself, but I wanted to just dabble a little bit. So if you like this video and you wanna see me try all of Costco's dessert, let me know in the comments. Thumbs up this video to let me know you like it. I feel like I'm... <laughs> I might cry, but this is the most delicious thing I've ever had. Hold, let me take another bite to make sure I'm not hallucinating. Oh my gosh. This is a life-changing food moment for me. Everything in this video was delicious for the most part. This deserves its own video. So creamy, so light, so fluffy, fresh. It's not dense. You know, some cheesecake can be like really thick. It is It is thick, but it's like really puffy thick. It's like the Michelin Man, like marshmallowy thick. And it's it's got like a nice sweetness to it, but it's not like crazy, super, super sweet. But it, oh my gosh. Gosh, it tastes so good. The last thing is a fruit tray and I felt like I needed to buy it just because it was a part of the deli section. And there's a lot of delicious stuff here. I'm not gonna try it all, but I am gonna take a little assortment to see if like cheese is good and the berries are fresh. First of all, this whole tray is $18. You know, not the cheapest cheese tray of all time, but I, I will say you get a lot of stuff here, a lot of different fruits. I don't know what that is, it's really good. It's like a soft, light cheese. Let's grab a grape, I have to be careful with these because they're very toxic to dogs. Even one grape can like take them out, so. Oh, did you hear that crunch? Delicious. Let's see, the strawberries are a little soft. Very good. These are the top 10 best pre-made food items you can buy from Costco. And let me just say items that you should buy because they're great values, great portion sizes, and I love all of these. Starting at number 10, we have the fruit and cheese tray. Coming in at number nine, macaroni and cheese. I thought it would be positioned higher, but it's still a great go-to if you have like a party or a Friendsgiving. Next is the roasted chicken. Again, I feel like I was a little bamboozled out there on the TikTok 
walk streets of America telling me that they're the best ever, but still very good. Coming in next is the Euro box. Next is the Grain Deli Bread Chicken Sandwich. I think it's a little bit better than the croissant chicken sandwich. Coming in next are mashed potatoes. Coming in next, surprisingly, even though I, I did spit it out, but you guys understood the caveat there, is the meatloaf option. Coming in in the third spot, which is means it's very, very, very good, are the bell peppers. So balanced, so delicious. In the second spot is the chili. That lady at Costco did not steer me astray. The number one best thing that you can buy at Costco, the cheesecake. I can't even say it. I should sing about it. That's how good it is. Do you want to see me taste test everything from the Costco pastry section? Also, thumbs up this video, subscribe if you're new here, and uh, let me know what else you would like to see me taste test on this channel.